Premier League is back and we are back with a big match preview on what a game to come back with. We've had, you know, we haven't filmed one of these for a very long time. And uh, it's good. It's been a good transfer window. Today, I'm joined on a big match preview with Ryan. How are you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm all good, mate. As you said, the Premier League is back. Um, I think there's a lot of positivity going into this game because obviously we've had a great transfer window. Today, we obviously signed wan as well. Mm -hmm. So it's been a great transfer window. I'm looking forward to the Premier League starting. Football is back for nine months. We love it. Exactly, mate. Exactly. See, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since we've done one of these. You know, we've obviously had, had a lot of sport going on through the summer, but you know, we can't really go into this game without touching on what a great transfer window we're having at the minute, mate. I tell you, and, and it's possibly not over. That's the thing. No, I think I think the main why a lot of people have got are feeling the positivity at the moment is we're getting all our business done before the start yeah. of the season. Usually we don't really react until sort of halfway through or near the end. But no, we've we've made some good signings, obviously spent a lot of money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of positive. As I said, wan is through the door now. We're only getting stronger, mate, and it, it's it's uh, it's positive. I can't get the smile off me face. Yeah. That'll probably be wiped. After a few weeks watching <laughs> West Ham, it might be wiped off, but I'm going to enjoy it. But this is the thing, mate. Look, we, we go into this new season, you know, Villa, not going to be an easy game, just... You know, great league campaign last season, qualified for the Champions League. They're going to be on a high. They're strengthening themselves. They've, they've bought a few players. They've let a couple go, but got a few you know, good players through the door as well. Would you say this is a really tough start for Lopetegui? Lopetegui, <laughs> yeah. No, look, when you when you play your first home game in the Premier League, you know, you, you don't want to be playing against a, a top four team. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to get off to a nice, easy start. Villa, had, as you said, Villa had a great campaign last season. Unai Emery has done wonders there. And Aston Villa fans are going to be in dreamland this season when they're at Villa Park on a Wednesday night or a Tuesday night and they hear that Champions yeah. League music playing. And they deserve it. It wasn't fluke. No. They were brilliant last season. Uh, they've got a good good goal scorer in um, uh, Ollie Watkins. So, yeah, no, as you said, they're strengthened. Obviously, they lost a couple of players during the summer, but... When you look at the players they brought in, Onana from Everton, yeah, fifty odd million pound. Um, they've obviously got Tillemans there already. Uh, they've obviously, I know it was a free transfer, but they've signed Ross Barkley. Mm. Who this is the life of a Premier League football player? You can get relegated one season, you can be a Champions League player the next season. But look, Ross Barkley is going to be a good squad player for them. Yeah, uh, they, they've, signed, they've signed a few players, you know. They're a strong team, and yeah, you're right. It's it's going to be a very difficult opening game to the mm. season. I think I think what they've done is they've they've strengthened their squad and in, increased the size of their squad, much like we have, on the back of European football, where we didn't do that last season. And yeah, you know, it seems I know different managers work different ways, but it seems that we want a big squad, you know, and and we're willing to work with a big squad, which is which is good to see because I think part and parcel of why we didn't get anywhere further or didn't improve last season, so to speak, was the squad depth. But now when you look at it, we've got competition in every single position now. You know, it's, it's only a striker bringing in, you know, a new, a new right back, centre halves. You could possibly say we, we could do with another left back, but if, if the pathway for Oli Scars is is there and, and Creswell's there more of a, for the senior player to pay back up to Emerson, then it sort of works. But it's just good to see that depth that we've got going into this season. Yeah, no, 100%, mate. I uh, agree. You know, we've, we've strengthened in the right positions. You know, unfortunately, some players had to leave the club, but they weren't players that were sort of going to break into the first team. You know, every player that we've signed, barring probably the young Brazilian boy and the, uh, the goalkeeper we brought in, every one of them is good enough to start yeah. in our 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and, and what, from what I've seen of um, the Brazilian boy, I can't pronounce his name, uh, Gil, 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 Gil Hermie. Yeah. Gil we'll, Herm, work, uh, we'll work on that one through the through we'll thing. Work on that one. You know what I mean, though. But, you know, even he looks like in the, maybe one or two seasons time, he could be a, a, a great player. You know, you never know. He might break into the first mm -hmm. team this season. But I think with the likes of Somerville, he can come in, you know, full Krug, you know, he's a striker that, Hopefully, third time lucky, we'll get right with a big striker. You know, we've, we had Hilaire, we had uh, Skamaka, didn't work out. Yep. Let's hope that uh, it'll work out for Fulcrug. Gives, obviously, Antonio a lot of competition mm. as well. So, yep. 
it's it's looking good, mate. It's looking good. And and the thing is, with a brand new season, brings brand new hope, positivity. You know, we don't leave London until what is it? Like nine them. games. Yeah, yeah. In the capital for nine games. So you know, not that that makes any difference because we've got some tough games. You yeah. know, we've got to play Man City, Chelsea. You know, it's, it's a few tough away games as well. So. No, it's, um, I'm looking forward to it, mate. That's the same. See, I'm sitting there looking looking at this game and thinking, you know, they've, they've got new players coming in. Obviously, Douglas Louise went out the door. He was he was influential for them in the middle of the park. And that was a big sell. And then they go, and like you said, they brought in Anana, which is a good buy for me. You know, a proper box-to-box midfielder. You know, he's had he's got bundles of Premier League experience now. So he's sort of, of strength in there. Because sometimes you sort of think, like, they've signed a few players. They've got... Champions League on their mind, they may take a little while to bed in, but I think that they're going to hit the ground running. But I also think we are, you know, even with the players that we signed, that you know, we're bringing in Kilman, experienced centre half, Premier League experience. You know, he was captain at Wolves, um, he played for Lokopetegi when he was at Wolves as well, so he'll slot straight in. It will be interesting for me to see who starts alongside him, especially as um, Tadebo's only just sort of come through the door. He's, you know, he weren't involved in the friendly um, on Saturday. So, you know, you've, will will we be frustrated into the 11, you know, because Aguerd, we know, can, has got a mistake in him. Mavropanos, another one, has mistakes in him. So it's going to be interesting to see whether we take that risk of throwing that new centre-back pair in together for the opening day up against the likes of Ollie Watkins. Do you know what? Do you know what I love about uh, first game of the season is that everyone's on the same fitness levels. Mm-hmm. So Villa ain't three or four games in front of us. Yeah. We all start. So for me, new signings, chuck them straight in. Mm-hmm. We'll go through the teams in a, in a little while, but yeah, I, I love it. Fresh new signings, get them started. Same for Villa. Uh, obviously, Ollie Watkins played for England during mm-hmm. the Euros. Uh, give us that great night when he scored the winner against the Dutch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fantastic. That was worth it. Yeah. That was a great, great moment during the summer. But you know, he's had a couple of weeks off now. But he's gonna be, as you said, he's gonna be fresh mm. playing for England. But then again, he might be a little bit tired. He played a lot of football last season. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. He's got yeah. a good season ahead of him. So you never know. But yeah, no, there's a few players I'm looking forward to if they start or if they feature. I'm really looking forward to. I like the look of Rodriguez, mm-hmm. who played the other day. Very comfortable on the ball. Gives us that little bit of balance in midfield yeah. that we've been lacking. Um, and yeah, no, I'm just excited, mate. As I said, uh, opening day of the season always throws up uh, some su- surprise results. Um, and West Ham beating Villa at home, would you say it was much of a surprise? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I'd say it would be a good, great result though if we get a win over Villa. Yeah, definitely, mate. Definitely. I've, I'm I'm sure with you on there. You know, I think it's a good test to start the season with. You know, like you said, another, as per usual, drawn, drawn against the top four side. Um, opening day of the season. So it seems to be a uh, sort of thing for us, doesn't it? But well, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. We, we draw Aston Villa and they're a Champions League. Exactly. Team. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, whoever finishes in the top four, West Ham will be your opening game of the season. Exactly. One of you as well. exactly. But, that, but that's the thing. And like you said, with Rodriguez coming in as well, you know, it's good because looking at it, the only player that's not going to be available barring for injury, uh, you know, when Masekas obviously had a good pre-season with Manchester United, but whether he'll be frustrated and be, we'll have to wait and see. But um, obviously Alvarez is missing. So, you know, Rodriguez being in that that holding midfield role, um, you know, could, could give us something different. Because then you're looking, I think, if you don't start him, you're then looking at playing your Sue checks and your Wall Prouses and, and stuff like that in, in a holding role position. And it, it, it just has slight remnants of last season. But also, he's another player that's got to adapt to the pace of the Premier League. So this this is going to be it's going to be a tough one to get for for us to get right for this, this, the start of the season, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I agree, mate. And uh, it's the the starting lineup is is Lopetegui's got some good headaches mm-hmm. to have. You know, there's uh, as you said, he could stick with the old old guard from last season. Yeah. Uh, but then again, he could just chuck the new boys in and see how we get on. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what I want. Yeah. I think that's what all the fans want. I think all the fans going to the stadium on Saturday, all the fans watching around the world, you know, they want to see the new signings. We all get excited by new signings. And I think Lobotegi might might give us a little treat on uh, on Saturday with his starting lineup. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So coming in, wise, we talk about starting lineups. What would you go for for this one? So, yeah, I've gone for obviously Ariola in goal. Mm-hmm. Um, right back. I did have Sufau in, 
But then obviously the news broke today, Wan Bazaka, I'm putting him straight in. Mm -hmm. I think he's ready to go. I think it'll be a big boost for everyone now. Yep. And I think it'll be a big boost for the team. Centre backs, I've gone Kilman mm -hmm. alongside our new French superstar, Sadibo. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in. And Emerson at left back. Yep. In midfield, I've gone for Wall Prowse and Rodriguez in the middle with Pacatar just in front of them. Mm -hmm. Bowen on the right, Kudus on the left, and full Krug up front. Yeah, see. Now, Scott, I could have gone with Antonio, yeah. but I wanted to... I, I, I want to see full Krug spark. Hmm. I, I, I know what Antonio can do. I've seen it for, for the last eight years. Yeah. I know what he can do. I think he'll be more of an impact player this season coming off the bench. So I think full Krug and, and obviously wan Bazaka, Tabibo... All these players, Rodriguez, get minutes under the belt from the start. Mm -hmm. I, I was thinking about maybe putting Kudus on the right, Bowen up top and Somerville on the left. Yeah. But I'm going to stick with that. I like the look of that team. I like the balance. Um, Will Prowse, obviously, he'll be pinging balls around. Full Krug will be rubbing his hands together, waiting for them assists. So, yeah, that's my starting lineup, Scott. What's yours, mate? You no, know I've... It's very similar to yours. So I've got Ariola. I've I've gone for Sufal. When I've done it, obviously when the second round the sign, but I've gone for Sufal was and Emerson as the as the fullbacks, with Kilman and um Tadebo as as the centre half. And I I went with the Emerson and Sufal just because of their experience in playing in the side. With the two yeah. new centre half pairings, we need you know we need some of the old guards still in there a little bit. Midfield got exactly the same with you with Rodriguez, obviously with Alvarez out injured and Wal Prowse and Pakatar playing in the sort of further forward role which we saw in the friendly um on Saturday. But I've gone with Antonio up front. Um again just because I think the the German strike will just take a little while to adapt to the Premier League. And I think for this game I think the way, especially the way they, the three of them linked up, Pakatar, Bowen, and um, Antonio linked up in the friendly. Just having that again, that knowledge of play of the players, you know, having Kudus out on the on the left, Bowen out on the right. Them four have played a lot of football together. You know, it's going to take time for for Fulco to come in and and link up and and understand the players. And I just think that to go for that for this game is a good attack to take on a Villa side, you know, bring in, bring in the new, the new guy, bed him in slowly, bring him on with, you know, we know Antonio will give his all. We know Antonio's probably got, only got 60 minutes in his legs now. So then it, you bring the big number nine on for that half hour in the second half, gives him a bit of game time, a bit of a bit more experience within the Premier League. And the players can also adapt to the style of play. Cause it's, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of differences this year. I just think in some games, you'll see the old guard, but in, in other games, we'll see that more experiment. And we know Lockerbie likes to change his systems as well. So we could even potentially see a five at the back in this one. But for me, that's my reason. That's what I'd like to see. I know you're saying about getting all the new signings in, but I just think go for the tried and tested front three um, for this game and then see where we go from now. I understand the reasons with Antonio. I do. And But when I, like with pa Paquetar in that number 10 role, you know, at the in the midfield, you know, I just, you watched him in the friendly last week, yeah. the balls he was putting out to Bowen, to Kudus, you know, he looks like he has fun in that area. So leave him in there, build that midfield around mm. him. Kudus does what he does out on the left. Bowen, we know what he can do out on the right. I think, yeah, I'm just going to go for the, the big German boy because I want to see him. I, I love a debut. Yeah. I love a home <laughs> debut. I think he's obviously had a good summer with Germany. Mm. He's, he's playing, you know, so he's up to fitness. He's, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll see what Lopetegui does. That's why, you know, he's paid the big bucks and we're just sitting here scratching around looking for a, a pound. <laughs> yeah, that's it, mate. That's it. I'll be honest with you. The things the things that I want to see this season, though, like, is I want to see us play a little more on the front foot, play higher up the pitch, which I think we will see. But one thing as well I want to see, I don't want to see us defending with 11 men for set pieces. Yeah, I want us to finally see uh, leaving a player up the field a bit. You know, I got fed up with that last season, so I want to start seeing us be a bit, bit more. When I, when I look around, thinking. when I look around the team that 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 are picked, mm. and I think of our wing, uh, our fullbacks as Wan Bissaka and Emerson, mm. two players that will love to get forward. Yep. You know, 
Both got pace. Both work hard. I think you you got the two centre backs that hopefully strike up that partnership. Mm. You know, Kilman obviously been a proven Premier League player now, and then obviously to to Debo, you know, he might struggle at first, mm. but you know, I'm confident in him. They and then you look around and Rodriguez gives that balance. You know, yeah. I could have easily gone with you know you saying about the old guards. You could have gone with Wall Prowse and Suchet, but let's be honest, we see all that last season. We don't want to see that no. again this season. This is a new era. Lopetegui's in charge. No more Moyes, Moyes ball. You know, this fresh ideas, fresh players. And yeah, let's hope that it all clicks because that's the most important thing. You can have all these players, you know, but they need to click. They need to work together. And, and, and I've got a lot of confidence in this team. Yeah, same, mate. Same. And that's, and that's the thing. And that's why, in a way, Wal Pras gets a nod over Suchek because I can see us having more of the ball and trying to use the ball better. And Suchek's... Yeah, he has got a role to play, and I know the rumours floating about he might be leaving, but I still think he's he's a good squad player to have a back because it will be games where we're going to have to defend, we're going to have to have our backs to the wall. So I think he'll have a part to play on the side. But like you, I think more the fact of the football that I can see us playing with the likes of Kudus and, and Bowen running off the wings and Somerville as well coming on and getting his chance when he does. You need the wall prices, the pack of tires, the players that can pick that pass. Think about the bench. It's going to be a stronger bench this season, as long as everyone stays fit. A lot stronger than we've had over the last couple of years. Yep. And obviously, you know, cost us a lot last season. Yep. We, I know we finished ninth, but we conceded, like, so was it 75 goals yeah, last yeah, season? Yeah, You don't break into the top six or try to break in top six by conceding that many goals, no. you know. So it's about improving at the back. And obviously winning games, you know, winning more games and, and not getting battered like we did in yeah. some games last season. I mean, I look back at some of the results last season, embarrassing some of yeah, them. Definitely. We can't let that happen. No. no, we can't roll over and let teams dominate and take the mickey out of us. No, exactly. And I, I don't I don't think we'll see that this year, mate. I think we'll be more further forward thinking and yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting. But mate, thank you very much for joining me on this uh, big match preview. Um, you know, prediction. Prediction? Prediction before we go. Yes, God, okay. he's chosen to make that for a while. Go on in, mate. What are you going for? Uh, 3 0 Villa. No, he's joking. Um, I think it's going to be a tight game. I think there'll be one goal in it. Yeah. Um, uh, do you know, I'm going to go for a home win. I fancy West 2 1 West Ham. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for a very tight game mm -hmm. uh, and a 2 1 win for West Ham. You know what, mate? I was thinking exactly the same thing. Nice little home. Being at home, nice good start, 2-1 West Ham. But said, it will be a tight game. Both teams feeling each other out, but I'm I'm going with you, 2-1 West Ham. Oh yeah, but as I said, mate, thank you very much for joining me today. You know, um, we're gonna be back, we're gonna be doing these throughout the season now. Uh watch out all our other videos. In the comments below, let us know your score predictions, what you think is starting eleven, you know, who you think had the better starting eleven out of me and Ryan. It's always good to have a little uh, contest that we can look at uh into the next preview to see who got the uh the more likeable uh, 11s. But yeah, right, once again, thank you very much. One thing left to say, come on, you are. Come on, you are.